Hi team, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Milanese breakfast martini. It was originally created at Jamie Olive's in London and it was first named the Breakfast in Milan. But it has since been adapted slightly. Uh, the proportions have probably changed a little bit. Uh, and it is essentially a Negroni meets breakfast martini. But when I say that, it's more breakfast martini because there is literally the tiniest little touch of Campari in there. Uh, so it just adds a little, very subtle bitterness to a, a traditional breakfast martini. Classic breakfast martini being uh, gin, lemon juice, and marmalade. So I'm gonna add a bar spoon of marmalade. And because I'm using the Campari, uh, the, this particular recipe, the ratios are quite low. Uh, sorry, the measurements are quite low, so uh, I'm gonna use more Prosecco, and it only calls for 30 ml of gin. So I'm using um, the Splendid Gin Distiller's Cup, which is 50%, so it's a little bit stronger. 30 ml, one ounce. That, uh, then it calls for five mil, so a bar spoon of Campari. It comes from Milan, hence the name. And 15 mil of fresh lemon juice. Fifteen mil, freshly squeezed lemon juice. It's like a half recipe cat. I was trying to trying to charge you not much and give you not a lot. I'm gonna double this recipe. This seems ridiculous. I was thinking that the whole time. <laughs> if you want to make sense of what I'm doing. Just follow the recipe in the description below. 60 mil, two ounces of gin, 10 mil, or one third of an ounce of Campari, and 30 mil, one ounce of lemon juice. Sorry. And marmalade, two bar spoons. Give this guy. So it's strained into a chilled coupe glass. Anytime I ask for topping up with sparkling, whether it be Prosecco or soda water, rather than straining the cocktail, topping it up, I prefer to combine the ingredients like so, and it kind of mixes the ingredients all together when you strain it into the glass, as opposed to just pouring the Prosecco on top. Very beautiful peach looking drink. Breakfast martini-esque. It's got lemon juice in the drink. So therefore I'll garnish with a lemon wheel. Yes, I had to go crazy on my garnishes, I know. Groundbreaking. <laughs> it's lots of lemon. There you have a Milanese breakfast martini. A breakfast martini with the addition of a little bit of Campari and Prosecco. Cheers. Not enough Campari, considering it's called a Milanese breakfast or a breakfast martini in Milan or whatever you want to call it. I, I really think the Campari needs to be more prominent. Uh, the Prosecco really takes over. I may have been a little bit heavy handed on it. Uh, you only really needed a small splash. It's quite sweet, but like. I'm even using a stronger gin, so that, that should be more prominent, but it's, it's kind of diluted down and the Campari is just not there. The proportions are out of whack. If you want a good Campari cocktail, check out the Enzoni. It's got like 200,000 views in the last like week. That's a good Campari drink, which is a better example of two cocktails combined being the Negroni and the Gin Sour. 
this has been a little bit more of an unsuccessful run today but thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you soon for another cocktail video